What's going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV, back with another transfer video today. It's Henrik Mikatarian is set to end his uh, transfer nightmare that he's had at Arsenal since joining, um, you know, a couple of seasons ago. He was involved in a swap deal with Alexis Sanchez, you know, that that deal still gives me nightmares to this day, man. Um, Sanchez, of course, was Arsenal's best player. Um, and to see him go to Manchester United was a nightmare, although that deal completely flopped for him. Um, but from Arsenal's point of view, you know, we lost a superstar. Um, we did a swap deal. Uh, Mino Raiola um, dictated this deal and uh, Henrik Mkhitaryan joined Arsenal at the time. It seemed like a reasonable deal in a desperate situation, you know. Um, Sanchez, of course, only had six months left on his deal. Mkhitaryan was somebody that Arsene Wenger had wanted for a couple of years. He tried to sign him when he left Dortmund. At the time, was one of the most informed midfielders in Europe. And the deal just didn't work at Arsenal, you know. He started off well, um, got a few goals, a few assists. I always felt like Mkhitaryan could have possibly um, done well in the number 10 role. Certainly didn't strike me as an out-and-out -out winger. Um, but, of course, Meza Ozil um, tends to play in that role. So, Mkhitaryan was never... Never really given the chance. Um, he's on loan at Roma at the moment. Um, he's having a reasonable season. Um, he scored a few goals, a few assists. He has had a few injuries. Um, but the Roma manager, Paolo Fonseca, has said he would like to keep Mkhitaryan beyond the end of the season. Now, he's 31 years of age. He's on around £160,000 a week. And for me, somebody Arsenal should be offloading. Now, Roma had an £8.5 million offer. Rejected for Mkhitaryan in January. Arsenal apparently want £20 million. Now, you're not going to get £20 million for Mkhitaryan. Um, he's 31. As I said, 160000 a week. He's not sought after. You know, I think this deal will be somewhere around the 12 to £14 million mark. And for me, if I'm Arsenal, I take that. I think, you know, you take the money, you get his big wage off the books and you go again. Um... It's funny because three weeks ago Arteta did an interview where he was asked about Mkhitaryan and he seemed to be leaving the door open saying, you know, that he, he thinks he's a good player, he knows him well and that they would assess at the end of the season what would happen. Um, but for me, I don't see any way that Mkhitaryan comes back to the club. I think Arsenal have to offload him. If Roma are interested, they've already offered 8.5. Negotiate, get 12, get 14, 15 at a push. And get his big wage off the books. Um, the move just hasn't worked. If you look at overall, Mkhitaryan really hasn't adjusted to Premier League football. You know, his move to Manchester United didn't work. And uh, the Arsenal move didn't work either. You know, I think we got him, you know, maybe a few years too late. His, his pace seemed to fade. You know, I remember watching him at Dortmund in that yellow kit. He used to wear the yellow boots as well. Um, he was very quick. On the counter attack, you know, at Arsenal, he doesn't seem that quick. Um, you know, seems a good professional, good guy, but you know, not what we need. And I think Arsenal need to be pursuing um, getting rid of him. Um, let me know what you think. Is there life for Mikatarian? Would you bring him back? He's got a year left on his deal. Do you think he's still, you know, got something to offer as a squad player, uh, as a winger, as a number 10? Or do we get rid of him, you know, 160k a week, get him off the books? As I said, I think somewhere around 12 to 14 million will be satisfactory to get rid of him. He's 31 years of age, you know. You aren't going to get big money for him. Uh, Mkhitaryan's nightmare looks like it could be coming to an end. Uh, Arsenal apparently in negotiations to sell him to Roma. Um, don't forget, if you haven't already, keep subscribing to the channel. And don't forget, there'll be a link in the description below if you could possibly vote for me. Best, con best new content creator at this year's football content awards i'll put the link in the description everyone take care at this difficult time as well um, stay safe i'll be back later in the week bless